Hello friends, welcome to Nankishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting because today we are going to study a very common mistake made by the students. Please check the situation in these type of division of fractions cases. Like the first case, numerator is 2, denominator is 3 upon 4. Or second case, numerator is 2 upon 3, denominator is 4. Or there are fractions in numerator and denominator both. These are the situations where mostly students do mistakes. That is why we have selected uh, this topic to make the video. So please be very careful. I am going to start from the last one. From the last one I am going to start where your numerator contains fraction and denominator also contains fractions. Firstly, I will clarify the basic concepts then we will come to shortcut way also actually what is happening it actually means 2 over 5 is divided by 7 over 8 this actually means 2 over 5 is being divided by 7 over 8 if you write it like this then question becomes very easy what will happen change the sign of division to multiplication as per our normal routine and just do the reciprocal of 7 over 8. Instead of 7 over 8, just write 8 upon 7. Now see what is happening. 2 is being multiplied with 8. I am getting 16. In the denominator 5 is multiplied by 7. I am getting 35. For this question, 16 upon 35 is the answer. I hope all are clear with the basic concept behind it. But now coming to the shortcut. If you analyze it carefully, this bottom most 8 is multiplied with the top value 2. Right? This 8 and 2 are multiplied, you are getting 16. Why can't we do it as a shortcut? We can multiply the bottom value 8 with the top value 2 directly and see. 5 and 7 were multiplied, middle two values are multiplied with each other. You will get the same answer. That means 16 upon 35. I hope this is clear. So do remember, top value will be multiplied with bottom value and middle two will be multiplied with each other. Now let's come to another example. If you are clear with this concept, doing next example will be easy. Try this one. If 2 over 3 is divided by 5 over 9. Let's suppose this is the case. Now we will use shortcut which we have just learned. This bottom value 9 will be multiplied with 2. 2 multiply 9. Middle 2 will be multiplied with each other. That means 3 is multiplied with 5. You can reduce it to the lowest form also. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So its final answer is 6 over 5 after simplification and this is the topic where students face problem. I hope this last case is clear where numerator is a fraction, denominator is a fraction. You can just do it like this. But now let me come to this case first of all which is visible here. 2 over 3 upon 4 you can see. What is that? 2 upon 3 over 4. And I want to use the same shortcut. What you should do at that time. I can see numerator is only 2. Which is an integer right. This 2 you can write as 2 upon 1. Because 2 over 1 means only 2. This is I am clearing the basic concept. Otherwise people use as a shortcut also. And you can. See bottom value 4 is multiplied with 2. I will get 8. 1 is multiplied with 3. I will get 3. 8 over 3 is the answer. You can also do like this. 4 is multiplied by 2. And 3 obviously the same. But to relate it with the previously done concept. This is the best way. 2 can be written as 2 upon 1. This can be done easily. Now the last example 2 over 3. Let us try to do that. 2 over 3 then divided by 4. 2 over 3 divided by 4. 
Now few students do mistake. They multiply this 4 with 2. That's a mistake then. You cannot multiply 4 with 2. What you should do now, write 4 as 4 over 1. The way you wrote numerator as 2 over 1. Because we need fractions in the numerator as well as denominator both sides. Now if you see, this 1 is multiplied by 2. And middle 3 and 4 are multiplied with each other. This is the only concept you need to remember. Whenever I found 2 alone, I wrote it 2 upon 1. If I find 4 alone in the denominator, I wrote it 4 upon 1. Now this 2 and 4 can be reduced to lowest form. And your final answer will be 1 over 6. So uh, let us just see one more question for practice. I hope you all will be able to do it. Let's suppose 2 over 5 over 7. This is the question. You try to do it yourself. And let us see what answer you get. I am also doing it 2 over 5 divided by 7 means I am going to write it as 7 over 1. And then this 1 is multiplied with 2. I will get 2 as numerator. 5 and 7 are multiplied 2 over 35. You can compare your answer whether you have got the same or not. And I am sure that you are clear with the concept now. And this mistake will not happen again. Thank you so much for watching the video.